Welcome back to Turtle Tina. In our last video, we learned how to change the color and width of the line, reposition Tina without drawing a line, hide the turtle so it doesn't show in the final drawing, and extrude our drawing so it can be printed in 3D. Today we are going to explore angles a little deeper. We will review the left and right commands and learn the angle and go to commands. As before, we will start by opening our programming screen in Creative Suite. and then naming the turtle. We'll also start by writing the show command. It is useful to have the show command in place because we want to test our program as we build it. Let's begin with left and right turns. So far, we have only turned 90 degrees either way. Of course, we can use any number of degrees, including decimals. Triangles are fun to play with. The angles always add up to 180 degrees, so we can try different combinations. This time, our line will be magenta and two units wide. Okay, let's run that and see how it looks. So far, so good. Now, Tina needs to turn to form the next edge of the triangle. The interior angle that we want is acute, but we need to swing Tina around by the supplement of that angle. So we will use 120 degrees. Let's run that again. So now we've made a 60 degree angle. To finish, we will repeat the left and go commands. We'll also hide Tina. And now we have a magenta equilateral triangle. A word about colors. Computers use a color system based on red, green, and blue, also known as RGB. The secondary colors are magenta, yellow, and cyan. Your printer uses these secondary colors, which are close to the colors that artists think of as primary. Back to our triangle. This was an easy triangle to draw because all the sides or edges are equal length and all the angles are the same. However, triangles can have edges and angles that are difficult to define. This time we will try an isosceles right triangle which has a 90 degree angle, two equal edges, 50 units, and two equal angles of 45 degrees. The 90 degree angle is formed at the intersection of the X and Y axes. How long is the third edge, the hypotenuse? It looks about 70 units long, but a trigonometry function would be more precise. Then we turn left 180 minus 45, which is 135 degrees. Let's edit the program with these changes. It looks fine until we zoom in. See how the lines cross each other? The second angle is also not exactly where it should be. Now that might not seem like a big deal, but it is if you need a precise result. For example, when you design a machine part. But we don't have to use trigonometry. There is an easier way, and it's called the go to command. We know that the second 45 degree turn should be exactly at coordinates 0, 50. Let's replace the first tina.left and tina.go with tina.go to 0, 50. And run. Perfect! Now the triangle is drawn exactly the way we want it. Go to is very useful, but only use it when needed. Triangles and quadrilaterals are good applications. Otherwise, use go, left, and right. The second command we are learning today is tina.angle. Let's practice a couple of angle commands to see how they work. First, we erase the go to command. Let's run. And there's our 135 degree angle. Change left to angle and see what happens. 
nothing, which makes sense, because we turned 135 degrees from the zero position and we are facing east. We could say that a positive angle turn is counterclockwise. Let's try a negative angle. This time we turned clockwise 135 degrees from zero. It behaves the same as Tina dot right 135. When Tina faces east, left behaves like a positive angle and right behaves like a negative angle. This doesn't work if Tina is facing a different direction. Let's add a 90 degree turn at the beginning of the program to see the differences. This time Tina dot angle negative 135 and Tina dot right 135 don't behave the same. Angle always resets the turn from the default zero position, whereas a left or right command turns Tina from the direction she is facing at the moment. We learned two more commands in this video. Go to, which uses XY coordinates. This is useful when measurements are not whole numbers or decimals that can be easily determined. Use the go to command only when necessary. It is better to use go, left, and right whenever possible. We also learned angle, which turns Tina from the default east facing zero degree position. In the next video, we will create an art project using all the basic commands.